Don't get angry, get active. 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 Aloha! Uh, Salam alaikum! Ahoy! Your creative sojourner Sarah here with another awesome adventure in creative coping. A is for aim. I will be sharing a visualization, but because this is the first episode in this series, I just thought it was really important to kind of go over the parameters. The above looking aspect of this has direction to avoid or allow the added appraisal of the state and appreciated. All the crazy A stuff aside, instead of jumping right into the content as I usually try to do, I selected AIM as the topic of the day because I have a lot of experience with having my heart or um, having my sight set on a particular focus only to find that we need to adapt. Maybe you can relate. For those who don't know me or friends I haven't met yet, as a lifelong creative, um, I always felt that I was a little different. Predating all the technology, I had this wild vision, let go to the ends of the earth and just email if that's really gonna be a thing at the dawn of like YouTube. And for the kids' homework, I think I opened the YouTube account and I was always intending on doing something magical with the art and you know. But I was in Mexico, like living the, the van life, the teepee, the dream. I think it was like 2018. We're gonna do this, you know, echo art family caravan alternative. We ended up in Italy. Before we knew it, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. And then everything just like went crazy the world shut down and I was stuck with this thing implanted in me that was supposed to be temporary and then after the panic, like opened up they realized the thing had gone bad but they didn't replace it and they went in to do like the surgery that had been on hold and so of course you know without like re resuming the whole procedure it didn't work and so I was ripping open which is terrifying during the lockdowns I was thinking like okay everyone and their brother is becoming a freaking youtuber not an artist, hadn't been dreaming of it before it even was a thing, and they're doing it. And so I told my husband, come on, let's, you know, get with the program here. But I think he was like so like traumatized by like feeling helpless against my illness, like on this hamster wheel waiting for my different treatments, procedures after procedure, complication after complication, near-death experience. Anyway, Thanksgiving, I went ahead and I, you know, just launched the channel. I was scared to death. I didn't know how to press record and like talk to the camera. I was terrified. First I did a little thing with um, Think Media. So they got me over that hump. And then I started teaching myself how to vlog. <laughs> thinking that we're gonna go do this, you know, like go to the festivals and record all these, you know, wonderful things. The whole thing was like to promote a life, create a life worth sharing. Beautiful solutions for a sustainable living and hope for humanity and all these wonderful things. I've been doing the best that I can under the circumstances. One of the last surgeries, so I had a lot of unnecessary surgeries and there were really bad reactions. And so I was scared. And so I thought, you know what? I signed up for the, the Yes The Reboot Camp through Creator Now. Making a video a day for 30 days gave me that added, like, I'm gonna do this. And then I'm like, well, what do I do? Which led me to Headspace and the mindfulness pivot to visualizations. My thing is the art is kind of counterculture, you know, in a way. Why I know I need to stay the course is because I know that there are people out there that are waiting to find the right people. And for some reason, they just feel isolated and alone and, you know, not connecting. And so after feeling like I've tried everything, I came upon the Struthless Alphabet Superset. If you're not familiar with Struthless, definitely check him out. My aim is to continue showing up weekly, trusting that there are people out there counting on me to show up for them and that somehow we will get connected. As far as a strategy, the scope, A, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, N, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, S, W, X, Y, Z, seven. Colors, seven musical notes, the seven energetic center. If we're exploring creative energies, it just seemed like a really exciting way to be able to navigate. Current shorts platforms offer the opportunity to combine some of my multi passionate interests for ugly art, for a beautiful life, um, the sort of anti aesthetic movement, the beat quote affirmations, the design work. From each video, uh, create a design inspired by the imagery. 
getting back into the visualization mode, um, one of the things I like to do is a like a pre-visualization kind of freak out exercise. Anxiety, antithesis, aptitude, abomination, abandonment, affirmation, artistry, altruism, awareness, and appreciation, abundance, ascension, and awakening, antithesis, amplification, alternative alliteration, arrivederci. Now when you're ready, visualize. The limitless expanse of potential spread out before you, the serenity of the vastness of truth, beyond hope, grounding you in light, radiating from you all energies and enveloping you in ripples, levels of vibration, as the journey of authenticity and artistry unfolds. All remnants of displeasure melt away as you delve into the core of your being. You feel rooted in peace, prepared to explore the artifacts of the timeless traditions of the creative human spirit and the multi-passionate mixed medium of creation and opportunities for expression, calling out to the future with innovations and messages of hope for opportunities to embrace the will and meaningful ways to evolve. Moving on in authenticity above anger, you feel emotional stability and balance, reducing adverse volatility while channeling spontaneity and wonder. You feel empowered to harness the rhythm of creativity and emotional energies of passion, guiding you to explore your emotions in a healthy and harmonious manner. Like your vibrant inner child, masterfully playing with expression of passions rooted in primal instinct, you are enveloped in the mesmerizing joy of inspired contentment, which drives you playfully and purposefully forward to explore. Grounded in the presence, creative energies flowing, you feel the connection between your essence, your physical body, and the natural world, where in this moment you are exactly where you are meant to be, at peace and in the soul reverberating mindfulness of stability. You feel the confidence of harmony, the trust of self, and the empowerment to navigate the magical memoir of existence, unifying the complexities of the interdependent layers of epic movements and earthen gifts life-infused relics of inner fire passed on into the self-assuredness of foundation and whispers of unique duty and belonging. You feel a live and actionable belief in the powers of diversity, culminating in an ever more harmonious humanity. Now flowing from the vibrations of activation, confident in your genuine belonging to the earth, your authenticity promotes honest openness. You are in tune with the universe, your mind and body. Gratitude and empathy move you. You feel light and free, connected to the passion of truth preceding time. You glide on the grace of trust and understanding, driven by the spark, rooted in vibrations of authenticity. Compassion radiates from you the joys of the empowering compromise of genuine reciprocal interactions. As you listen to the echoes of the ages of wisdom and breathe in the communal breath of humanity, you are elevated in kindness and the blissful acceptance of the passing of time and the reminders of clear skies, boundless above the legacy tales of perseverance, where all attachment to resistance is dissolved by love. Embracing the authentic self, fearless in the face of infinity, your sentiments spring forward flowing with the prudent ease of the eternal well of self-acceptance and adoration, which births the voice of encouragement that with effortless humility you bestow and cultivate while letting go. You reserve judgment for discerning your inherent call to communicate peaceful messages of truth. Your light of empowerment reaches down to your roots beyond identity, filtering nutrients up through your creative passions and the core of your being, onward through your heartbeat into the glory of pure self-expression which reveres the privilege of the inheritance of mortality and the precious vibrations of your calling to sing the praises of listening with the open expanse of loving acknowledgement. With insight and intuition, you are courageous. You trust that your basic primal instincts for protection from alienation will be validated by your survival, and you shall be received into the grand scheme of the crafty stars and the plans they make while you spill out your heart's desire for harmony into each breath of creative hope. You behold the living dream of valuing a world where the true thoughts and feelings of all may be consumed and processed into substantive progress with cognizant compassion. As you are cocooned in the security of your complexity, you trust that your dynamicism is blended by the rainbow of aptitude to project the light in contrast and the purity and unconventional composition 
to ride like those before us on vision through any challenge with clarity, wisdom, and the confidence of wild inner child ingenuity and perseverance. The vitality of alignment is awake in your multi-passionate journey rooted in the creative power of loving expression, vision, and the confidence to authentically welcome friction to serve its molecular purpose beyond human comprehension while melting through you and on into the oneness of harmony, dancing with melody and with rhythm and the knowing vibrations of the songs of a child's smile, you are suspended in the imaginings of how psalms of earth and clay connect the ages like your body's foundational energies to the hands of fate. You are well in acceptance. You are healthy in your manifestation of connectivity. Any tension or stress is relieved by your gentle grasp of effective communication and expression. Your profound sense of oneness is not that of mere aloneness, but of the fundamental system beyond external governance, civility beyond codes of conduct, the simplicity of complexity, the authenticity above misplaced anger, and the actionable loving kindness of authentic, grounded, harmonious transcendence.